Spain's Rioja has a long-established reputation for producing quality red wines. Some of them, however, have been a little heavy on the leather and a little bit over oaky for many tastes. This week on Big on Wine, we bring you a Rioja in the modern style. Light, refreshing and organic. And it's coming right up. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to yet another edition of Big on Wine, the channel which, as you probably know by now, brings you, yes, news, clues and reviews. In fact, it tries to keep, keep you up to speed with just about everything that's going on in the world of wine. And indeed, today we head over to Spain's Rioja and my wine of the week is this one here. It goes under the name of Marquez de Cáceres Vino Ecologico and the vintage is 2018 and this wine comes in for a price of just over 12 euro a bottle where I am. Okay, so we're in the north of Spain here. This is D-O-C-A, Rioja, so Denominación de Origen Calificada. Now this is actually the highest category of wine regulations in Spain. If I remember correctly, Rioja was the first uh, region to receive the DOCA um, appellation. And was it Priorat, another great wine region to be second on the list. In fact, the only two. Right, Rioja, where is it? Uh, well, the Rioja wine, wine region, of course, is centered on the Ebro River and the town of Logroño in northern Spain. Now, Logroño is about 150 kilometers or so south of Bilbao up there in the Basque Country and the um, Rioja wine region of course is famous for its oak aged reds and the Tempranillo grape in particular. So if you think of Rioja, you think of Tempranillo grapes. All right, now this one from Marques de Cáceres is in fact a blend of two grapes. Now here the Tempranillo of course is in the starring role as it always is and the deep red aromatic Graciano is the supporting cast here. 14.5% alcohol and just a touch, around about three grams or so per litre of a residual sugar. All right, now from the look of it, this is quintessential Rioja, isn't it? Let's take a look at it in the glass. Doesn't that look superb? It has that dark reddish purple hue, which we can associate so closely with the Rioja red wines. So looking very, very nice in the glass. All right, let's try it in the nose and see how this young Rioja 2018 vintage behaves in the nose. Now we can see the alcohol content is actually quite high. We do have the tears around the side of the glass there, 14.5% alcohol, of course. All right, let's take a sniff of this now. And what we're getting in the nose is actually fairly restrained, I would say, for a Rioja. Um, perhaps the dominant aroma in this wine is of dark berries. And perhaps on top of the dark berries, we might in fact add dried fruit as well. So we have the, um, the blackberry and the black currant in there but also perhaps there's an element of um, dried, dried fruit, maybe dates as well in the, in the mix there. Toasty aroma on this wine, as is traditional, of course, in Rioja, toasty uh, element to this wine as well. All right, try it in the uh, palate now, see how we get on with this. Um, I'm expecting a lot from this wine. Right, now, first impressions. 
medium bodied wine, not too heavy. I've taken this wine down to around about 17 degrees centigrade. So I just put a little bit of a chill on it and it appears to be functioning quite nicely at that temperature. Um, fairly solid in terms of tannins, medium bodied. Um, the taste of the wine very much matches the nose. So we're getting those dark berries, um, medium, medium to large tannins in this wine, but not by any means overpowering. Elements of dried fruit coming through. Um, maybe a touch of dark cherry in here as well. Although not sour, dark cherry, not sour cherry. Um, plum. Some people have even seen strawberry in this wine, but I don't, I don't uh, taste strawberry at all. Um, maybe just a little touch in the wine here of coffee or mocha in the mix as well. And very importantly, this wine has a nice acidity to it. It tastes fresh in the mouth. It's by no means leathery or over oaked at all. It's fairly light to medium bodied, medium bodied, yeah. Um, nice tannins, fairly mellow tannins, in fact, carrying over into a very nice finish with a sourness there, an acidity, and a touch of coffee in the finish as well. Very pleasant indeed. In fact, quite a good achievement for a wine which is only 2018 vintage, so just over a year old, this wine. All right, what are we going to be actually enjoying this wine with? Well, you know, here I don't think we're left with a huge number of choices. This is a fantastic wine to drink with meat dishes, in particular with beef, beef steaks, roast lamb, if we're thinking British style, maybe a shepherd's pie, uh, salty hard cheeses, and of course, pretty much anything that contains red peppers or pimento, anything grilled, in fact, would work well with this wine. This would make a great wine for your summer barbecue, not too heavy, but very, very well suited to barbecued food, even to fish dishes such as grilled tuna. All right, serve this wine, I think, around the 17 or 18 degree, degree mark. It doesn't have to be any higher than that, so young wine. Um, let's bring you the heads up on this one. A classic Rioja, or is it? Well, yes and no. This one is medium bodied with medium tannins not too much in the way of leather, uh, a great variety of berries on offer, the um, dried fruit, blackberry, and also some cherry in there, some nice soft, soft tannins, and even a dash of coffee too, ecological as well. Marques de Cáceres, Vino Ecológico, Vintage 2018, a modern Rioja with plenty to offer at an attractive price too, Four stars out of five. Okay, folks, many, many thanks for tuning in, checking out this week's video. And of course, this was a little intro to a young Rioja here, Marquez de Cáceres, Vino Ecológico and the Vintage 2018. A uh, young Rioja in the modern style, light, refreshing, not too heavy oak very nice indeed okay if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard then please do feel free to give us a big thumbs up yep give us a like drop a comment down below share the video around follow me on my other social media platforms and of course uh, if you haven't done so already please do consider subscribing um, by hitting that big red button that'll appear as if by magic behind my right shoulder and while you're about it why not ring the bell yep ring that bell and you'll be informed as soon as 
every new video is uploaded. But uh, of course, I'll be back again next week with another great wine of the week for you. But until we meet again, this is Tony Marvel signing off and saying, hey, take care out there. Be good to each other. Enjoy your wines. And cheers. <laughs>